Hey, what's up you guys? Tom is back with another Lintense video. Today I have a fragrance from Serati, but before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys. Again, it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're not watching me in that automobile because right now you are on your way to the dealership, Ford dealership, Chevy dealership. Maybe you're going to the Hyundai, maybe you're going to the Kias. Uh, if you do get a Kia or Hyundai, be prepared for that thing to get taken off of your lot, your driveway, at your job. Be prepared, okay? So maybe you might want to stick away from that Hyundai and Kia. But hopefully, and I mean hopefully, you guys got the good enough credit where you get in and out within like two hours, okay? When you got that type of credit, you get in, you get out, it's not that much of a hassle. But if you got the credit that I got... Be prepared for a meal. Be prepared to have a probably a sleepover. Be prepared to watch dozens of episodes of stuff. Be prepared to watch reviews of the vehicle you're about to get. Be prepared for them to just give you the car that they want you to take. Because your credit's not good enough for the one that you want. So if you guys are in that uh, situation right now, good luck. If you guys are watching anywhere or however, doesn't matter. If you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very important. And likes are very important because the last time I did a fragrance review on Serati, which was this patchouli apple, I actually liked it a lot. Now, I didn't like that it kind of left a little bit of a sticky residue on my skin. But I must say, this fragrance actually had great performance. Projection was pretty good for two hours, okay? After that, yes, it started becoming more of a skin scent, but it was definitely really noticeable. Okay, you guys, that is the one thing. Everyone asks, how well is the performance? How long is the longevity? And honestly, longevity is not the main issue or the main component that I look for when I look at a fragrance. I'm looking basically for the overall scent. Even at the end, whatever, it doesn't matter. The, just the overall scent from the beginning to the end. I'm not looking for longevity because, again, remember, even if a fragrance lasts 12 hours, is it going to have that same exact initial smell? And it's going to be strong even after the 12-hour mark, okay, that anyone's going to smell. Okay, now, I've had fragrances that have pretty much faded to my nose that everyone else has smelled. But, again, what the, most, the most important thing is, is the overall smell, in my opinion. Overall smell, yes, followed by performance and projection. Obviously, you want that thing to project, but, again... Sometimes these fragrances are only noticeable to you. If you notice it all throughout the day and maybe no one else is, who cares as long as you like it? So this patchouli apple, fresh, fresh apple, musky, very clean, very uplifting, very nice fragrance. Now we got its distant cousin. This one is also from the Royal Musk lineup. This one is Saroti and this is a blueberry grapes. Blueberry grapes. This sounds like a uh, a thing of Black and Miles, the Blueberry Grape Edition. Uh, some, uh, some TBC, THD, THC, all those. NBC, WBA, NBA, TBA, doesn't matter. Sounds all the same, okay? This is Blueberry Grapes. Again, Serati, okay? Royal Musk. Now, I'm expecting to open this up, but it's probably going to look like a blueberry yogurt uh, juice. Oh, Getting a nice fruity, kind of almost bubblegummy smell already from the box. Might have leaked a little bit, who knows? But we're gonna open it up and see what it's all about. Again, you got this cool, almost giraffe like design. Looks like giraffe on the outside. I don't know. That's what I think. Giraffe. But here we go. On the bottom, you do got that batch stuff. There you go. They do have a website. I'll leave that down below. And again, this is that blueberry grapes. Okay, so expecting fruity fruity musky okay so here we go look at that juice uh yeah this looks like uh suavitel or something like that okay i like suavitel suavitel is the smell of gods okay if you ever smelt if you've ever stepped into a laundromat where 95 percent of the people in there are using suavitel that my friends is exactly what i expect heaven to smell like 
Suavitel smells so good. But take a look at that juice again. Almost like Suavitel, almost uh, like some kind of blueberry uh, juice or something. I don't know what the hell that is. But there we go. On the bottom, nothing. Uh, no batch code or nothing. Nothing like that. Just the batch code on the box. But overall, I like the juice. And again, the bottle looks the same as the other one. Cap is kind of light, so not too heavy. So here we go. Let's go over here, spray it away, and see what to say. I wish the atomizer was a little bit better. It's not the... Okay, this uh, literally... It almost... You take the same way that I described patchouli apple. Like taking those um, fabric softener sheets... The fabric sheets, you stuff an apple on the inside, and that's what you get. This is pretty much the same thing, but with that blueberry grape, but almost like blueberry grapey candy, almost. Not like fresh, like the real fruit, like the last one was. That was like a Granny Smith apple smell. This kind of has that uh, fruity, like when you think of blueberry candy, grape candy, grape bubblegum, grape soda, stuff like that. That's what it kind of smells like, that artificial flavoring of those fruits. But again, you get this muskiness, which is very nice, which is, again, smells like fabric sheets up in the air. Smells very good, you guys. <laughs> Man. Oh, that smells good, you guys. Honestly, I think it's a little bit more feminine because, you know, that's the thing. When you smell it close, you're going to think of, like, this fruity lotion. You know, when the girls put that Bath & Body lotion on, the ones that smell fruity and stuff, and... You can just smell the fruits and stuff like that. This is kind of what you're gonna get with this in a fragrance, uh, in a fragrance form. But I must say, with that added fabric softener sheet freshness that I'm getting, this kind of takes it from almost being too feminine to it's on the cusp of being like right in the middle. I would still say this is more on the feminine side of things, but not by a lot. Okay, again. Obviously, you guys are going to have to be, uh, uh, you're going to have to have confidence to wear these fragrances, especially if they're leaning more towards the feminine side of things. If you are not into smelling unisex or more on the feminine side, then obviously you are not going to want this fragrance. But if you have no problems with a unisex fragrance or a fragrance that may even lean a little bit more towards the feminine side of things, then go right on ahead. Now, the thing is... If you're a man, like a masculine man, you want some manly man, maybe you're going out to a party with a lot of fellas, you're obviously not going to want to wear that because then you are going to smell like the woman of the bunch. So you might not want to do that. But if you go to work, maybe you work in a office style environment that has a mixture of the two genders and races and everything like that, then go right on ahead. But again, you'd want to wear this to work maybe. Maybe lounge around the house. Maybe you just want to smell clean. Maybe you want to smell fresh. Maybe you want to have that slight bit of fruitiness laying around. Man, again, it really does smell like blueberry grapey candy. Almost like bubblegum, like bubblicious. When you kind of chew it up a little bit and get that blueberry grapey smell. Now, I don't think they made blueberry bubblicious, but I do know grape was like one of the best flavors. But this exactly is what it smells like. Candy. Blueberry grapey candy with fabric softener sheets you take that and that is what you get with this now again honestly i think the performance will be just as good with this one like it is with that one again it's not super duper loud but it's noticeable okay you are not going to fill up a room with this unless maybe you go spraying super duper heavy but you will notice it and so will people that get at least about an arm's length worth away from you okay they're going to notice it as well too especially if you do a couple more sprays i only did it on my hand but again i'm definitely noticing it every time i move my hand whiffs 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 wafts whatever the hell you want to call it waffle cone french toast i don't care what the hell you call it wafts whiffs sniffs diffs milfs dilfs gilfs any one of those things it doesn't matter this again smells great but again, leans a little bit more towards the feminine side of things. And again, it is not all the way feminine, okay, guys? It's it's probably maybe like 60, 40, maybe even 70, 30. But again, if you have that confidence to rock this, you could also do some kind of layering just to maybe kind of 
uh, spruce it up a little bit. Maybe throw some tobacco or something like that. Maybe I'll try something like that. Try just a random layering combination and just see what it's all about. But uh, overall, I actually like the way it smells. Again, I'll probably give this one uh, to the wifey. I think the green apple one smells a little bit more masculine. It smells a little bit... I wouldn't say it smells better. I think they're real even. Depends on what you like. If you like that grape... You like more of that apple, okay? If you're a grape fan, you might like this one. If you like the apple, you like the other one. But again, they're both going to kind of give you that same similarities, okay? Fruit with that freshness from a, again, fabric sheet. Think of a fabric sheet. You stuff it in almost like you are stuffing in all those spices to make yourself a nice soup stock. You know how they do that? This is what it is. You load up like a little cheesecloth of fruit, boom, and then you cover that thing up with fabric softeners, and that's what you get. Okay. Now, again, I think the fruit is the main star in here. When you smell it in the air, you get more of the mixture of the two. But when you get closer, you definitely get more of the fruit. Oh, smells good. Smells good, you guys. Again, smells good. But again, I'm going to say it leans a little bit more on the feminine side of things. And obviously, you're going to wear this during the daytime. It's not a date night fragrance. It's not a cool weather fragrance. Obviously, it's going to be more in summer, spring. Obviously, you can wear this in the fall, too, if you're going into work. But again wear this in certain situations okay so with that being said i'm gonna get up out of here i think that was like 45 dollars to give or take maybe 50 who knows honestly the way it smells i mean who knows what a fragrance should be worth nowadays okay 40 50 dollars if you got it and you spend it okay big deal whatever you just you just spent it i mean we all spend money on dumb things coffee going to a restaurant that you probably never see again but you spend 50 dollars to eat but still you spend money everywhere so with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.